Bruce Springsteen, sometimes known as the Boss, is an American singer, songwriter, and musician. Uh, he's known for his songs about working class Americans and uh, his style is often described as heartland rock, which is a combination of rock and uh, kind of this working class uh, stories. Uh, he's one of the world's best selling music artists ever. Uh, he's been active since 1964, but his break came in the mid 70s, notably with the album Born to Run. Um, his style is mostly rock, but with elements of folk. Uh, he's been consistently highly regarded. Um, and is just about to release his 21st studio album. Uh, this is October 2022, as I speak. Uh, he is famed for the energy and length of his live shows. Hi, my name's Dan. How are you doing today? Okay, so this was uh, Bruce's 14th studio album. So, of course, I've come across Bruce Springsteen before. Uh, pretty much everybody has. I'd be quite surprised uh, if you hadn't but this album is different from what you might think of as bruce springsteen it's certainly different from what i think it was uh, called bruce Sting springsteen stuff uh in that it's uh folk and americana okay um, now i have come across this side of of bruce before but only fairly recently. So I'm uh, I'm in a, an album of the week club, which is a bit like a book of the month club, uh, except uh, every week somebody nominates an album and uh, we listen to it and then we put comments in and we, we do it all on Facebook. Um, and uh, not that long ago, uh, about six months ago, I think it was, uh, somebody nominated a live album from Bruce Springsteen, which was... Uh, uh, the, the live album of this material, but then expanded and with the same band pretty much uh, live in Dublin. So I have heard some of these songs and uh, these arrangements, but in the live setting before. Uh, so they're uh, traditionally traditional songs mostly. There's certainly none of them are written by Bruce, um, and they're particularly songs that have been made popular by Pete Seeger, um, who was uh, an activist rock singer. Um, uh, I knew some of the songs, uh, so I recognize some of them from my previous encounter, but I also have come across some of these songs uh, from, you know, way back. Um, and, um, yeah, uh, so it's not the E Street Band, who are uh, Bruce's most uh, used band, uh, but one of the E Street Band, who was, who was a violinist, uh, connected in with some other uh, in, uh, musicians from New Jersey and New York who were obviously in this these kind of traditional instruments being used and then uh, connect, um, he also used the Miami horns uh, as a horn section for this so we've got in here in the mix um, all sorts of stuff and it's actually quite uh, full of lots of different textures we've got banjo we've got fiddles we've got a horn section we've got accordion uh, we've got organs sometimes and of course we've got uh, a rhythm section but that's uh, upright bass uh, and uh, drums um, not always drums and the drums is kind of sometimes uh, towards the background of things um, and it's Broadly speaking, Americana, which is a great term. I like it because it just encompasses so much of uh, of this kind of space, which is kind of somewhere between the folk, the blues, the country, and all those things. Uh, so it sounds at times uh, when the horns, uh, the, the brass are going, it sounds like Dixieland jazz, and they certainly play in the kind of New Orleans jazz style. Uh, it sounds at times like... Um, other Louisiana styles, Cajun and Zydeco, um, particularly with a, when the accordion is uh, going, it's kind of got that feel. Uh, the banjo gives a lot of it a bluegrass kind of feel to it. Uh, sometimes in the rhythm section, the um, the bass is playing an alternating bass, which is boom, 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 or boom, boom, coming down, which gives a kind of country feel. And then there are parts where there's quite a few people singing. It feels choral, which then gives it a spiritual feel. And it kind of slides between all these different things. And almost as if to say, actually, look, the, the music, the chords are very, very similar uh, between these. And so we just kind of embrace the whole thing. It's generally got a kind of folkness to it. 
Um, I'm slowly getting to grips with what folk means in an American sense rather than in a, uh, a British and particularly Celtic sense, which is where my folk background is from. Um, Bruce uh, obviously sings the lead here. He somewhat croaks his way through. It, it definitely suits the songs well. Got some strong performances. Sometimes I felt like he was particularly kind of doing a, a, a Tom Waits approach um if you don't know stuff about tom waits then just forget that um there's a really good version of shannon Dar in this i love the song anyway and it's just it's just the, the arrangement is just it's really kind of mellow and and gentle but uh, intelligent in terms of the harmony it's great so it, it was recorded informally apparently at bruce's farm um it's got a really rich and warm sound to the recording. And the the performances, there's just lots of heart and lots of energy to it. It's that the core of this isn't so much Bruce and his singing. It's about these instrumentalists and the, what they bring to this music. And it's just a fantastic album. I really, really like it. Um, and if you'd asked me or, or told me a couple of years ago that I would be saying how much I love a Bruce Springsteen album, I would have thought that you were, <laughs> yeah, you, you, something was wrong. Uh, but I do, I absolutely adore this album. It's great. So uh, what do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. That's it from me for now. Take across the wall 